My 38F husband, 43M, refuses to give up his gym girlfriend or even talk about the issue. On Father's Day I noticed my husband texting and smiling with someone. Ignoring or not seeing me when I invited him to the table for breakfast I got closer so he could. Notice me and saw he was texting an unknown woman. We've been married for four years and have a preschooler and a one-year-old. I didn't bring it up besides asking, who is that? Quote, since my mom was in town visiting. When I mentioned it later. I said I didn't know making friends of the opposite sex and not saying anything was okay for us. He didn't volunteer anything but when pressed further mentioned that he'd been working out with her. Which I know is three quarters days a week for 23 hours before work most mornings. He ended up admitting he didn't tell me about her because he knew I'd be mad. Moreover that he'll be working out with whoever he wants. Fast forward several one-sided, vulnerable conversations and two months after a lot of feeling sick to my stomach and sleepless nights. I finally laid it out. I didn't give him an ultimatum I simply told him I can't sleep. That I feel heartbroken and constantly concerned. That if I was doing the same he'd feel awful. And crickets I asked how long it was going to last and was met with. There's no sign up sheet in the gym. I told him I can't imagine continuing our relationship feeling like this and needed to know in words how he felt. He reported feeling the same. That I'm his wife and he loves me. My boundary is unacknowledged and so far unenforced. It's not that I think he's put his dick in her. Yet, it's that he won't budge or say anything knowing I'm hurting. I feel like I'm getting more heartbroken daily. The impulse to check his phone is hard to resist at times. I don't want to leave. But I need more than this lack of response from him. TLDR. I'm jealous that my husband spends 8 hours plus a week with another woman at the gym. Time we don't have together as parents of young kids. I want to bail from the relationship. But sort of from life. You have told your partner you're hurting and he doesn't care. That's not okay. To me. That sounds like his moral compass when it relates to romantic love is not where it should be. If you love someone, you care if they're hurt. And you, op, are not making a mountain out of a molehill. You're not asking for anything unreasonable. Your husband's actions are not that of a good man. If I were you, I'd consider the way he's responded to my hurt, pain, discomfort in the past. And the way he continues to respond to it in the next few weeks. If his responses were, continue to be extremely dissatisfactory. It may be time for you to consider if he is your life partner. You deserve a life partner who lifts you up and cares if you are in pain. I know this is likely overly simplistic given that you have children. I guess this is just to say that your feelings are extremely valid. And you are not in the wrong. I was a gym goer for many years and I always chatted with everyone. Just my nature. I always worked out alone. My preference. It's not the fact that he has a female workout partner. It's the fact he didn't let you know and it appears he doesn't even care you're upset by it. The fact he is texting her just to chit chat isn't right. Especially him knowing how you feel. The only text should be if one of them has to cancel. I'd start texting and laughing and smiling. When he asks tell him it's some guy you met on reddit. Give him a dose of his own medicine. Or just let him bully you and continue to be miserable. He has been spending 23 hours most days with this woman and kept it hidden because he knows it is wrong. He is trying to blame you that he didn't tell you because you are jealous. No, he is trying to make you the problem when he is the problem and he didn't tell you because he knows it is wrong. He is also messaging her outside of their exercise all the time so it's not only a gym buddy. How did he even meet her? How did they decide now they are gym buddies? Why are they texting all the time? If you are in the gym you have no time for chats. So is he also going for coffee or something after? 
I also think it's weird to have a gym buddy from the opposite sex because as a woman, I'm not doing the same routine as men and even if there's overlap. Not every day. You see how many choices he made to get to this point. Though. She didn't magically become his gym buddy. She didn't magically get into his phone. They weren't magically chatting on their phone. They didn't magically set up to spend 8 hours a week together. And who has the time to go to the gym 23 hours most days when he has a full-time job and two kids? You even say that you don't spend time together but he spends time with this woman? The lack of response is on him. You should start putting your ducks in a row. Check his phone and I would suggest a very hard conversation where you ensure you get straight. Answers. Where does he get time as a parent to spend that much time at the gym? If you want to be petty and prove your point, join the gym and meet a gym buddy, male, and start messaging him. This sounds like an EA at best. If you tell your partner that something hurts you and they keep doing it, it's no longer unintentional. He is obviously and dangerously exploring another opportunity and will continue until an alteration and threat is made. Simply leaving with kids will allow him freedom to do what he has been thinking about for months. With the gym girl, you can get a free consultation that what you would get from a divorce. Don't mean do it. But it will snap him into reality that he would lose everything if you decide to go through with it. But also have a positive effect in your relationship to express interest in going to the gym with him to get into shape and will improve your love life. Paying for babysitting will be a cheaper version than divorce, obviously, and also reduce his funds to pursue any other girls. The fact he hid it means that something is happening. Make him show you all the texts. I know that you don't want to give an ultimatum. But you really need to at this point. He's having an emotional affair. At a minimum. It may not be a physical affair yet. But if you don't draw a firm boundary now then there's room for it to escalate to that. Gym partners are much easier to replace than life partners. He can either find a new gym or find a new family. He's stepping out emotionally and or physically and you won't tolerate it i'd say it's time to talk to a marriage counselor or talk to a lawyer good luck i'm sorry you have to deal with this messaging her out of the gym and chatting while smiling at his phone is a bit suspicious it's okay to have friends but he didn't tell you about her because he knew you would be mad why's that if I made friends with a married man who lied about our friendship to his wife and messaged me to chat then I would be thinking that he's into me. Or at least get the wrong end of the stick if that isn't the case. F that. No sign up she? Go work out with him. Ha ha. Um WTF? I'd be asking for a divorce. He's not putting your relationship first he's not prioritizing you. I would give him the ultimatum of giving up his gym membership or all his stuff will be on the front lawn in the morning. If they haven't slept together already I'm sure they will. That's cheating and that's abuse. It's not okay. This man just is old enough to know what he is doing and knows it is wrong. It's a hill to die on. It's her and the gym or you and the kids. He ended up admitting he didn't tell me about her because he knew I'd be mad. Biggest red flag imaginable and sneaky, manipulative. He didn't tell you because you would be mad as if it's because of you he had to sneak around. Face with rolling eyes please. He doesn't need to have put his dick in her. He's already disrespecting you as if he had. The trust is gone and he's making you sick to your stomach by not reassuring you and taking action. To make you feel safe. He is not worth losing sleeping. Let alone your life over. You are okay. Don't worry just operate as if your relationship is over. Gather evidence. See a lawyer for your options. Breathe. It's a terrible shock to know all the love you've put in isn't reciprocated.
But at least you figured it out sooner rather than later. You tried to talk. He is the one that doesn't want to fix it and you can mourn it. But don't let it destroy you. Do you have a friend who can sign up to the gym? Send in a scout. That way, you can actually know what they are getting up to when they are. Or even if they leave together and go elsewhere. 23 hours each time seems like a long time to spend working out tbh. 2-3 to three hours at the gym, lol, is he competing for Mr. Olympia? The writing is on the wall up. He's calling your bluff and doesn't believe you have it in you to mete out consequences. Prove him wrong. Get a consult and present him with separation papers. Gray rock the F out of him and tell everyone why. He needs that wake up call now. Op. Before it's too late. Op. Speak to a lawyer. Get opinion on what hypothetical next steps would be. Doesn't mean you have to go forward with it. But knowledge is power. Do you have the ability to check his phone? Is so. Check the chats and screenshot anything if needed and send to yourself. Then. Tell him to show you the messages. If he's hesitant you can ask him why he's not willing to help easy your concerns because it tells. You that something inappropriate is happening. He's not prioritizing you and what he's doing is insanely inappropriate. I almost guarantee he's in the very least emotionally cheating. You had it right. He may not be sleeping with her. Yet. Keyword here is yet. BC that's his actual GF. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.